Today we learned that Stephon Clark's family is suing the city of Sacramento and seeking over $20 million in damages for what they call wrongful death. There's a number of items in this lawsuit. So joining me is attorney Stuart Katz, who has more than 20 years of experience in these cases of police misconduct. Uh, thank you for joining us, You're Stuart. Welcome. I understand and I know from other cases that I've covered that it's typical that the family will seek civil uh, damages because they uh, assume that there will be no criminal charges. Well, uh, I don't. I don't think any of the lawsuit for that assumption. I okay. would be shocked and will regret not buying lottery tickets if they were to file criminal charges in this. You doubt case. that the DA will charge the officers? Never going to happen in this case. Uh, we're seeing unreasonable sh search and seizure, excessive use of force, denial of medical care, uh, failure to train the officers, false imprisonment, negligence. Which of these items jumps out at you? Which one do you think uh, the family might succeed at getting the city to either settle or might actually win? Well, really the key thing here is the shooting. So that's where it all stops and starts. So mm -hmm. on the one hand, a shooting is viewed as an unreasonable seizure of a person by shooting them. The policy matters are gonna be frankly a lot harder mm -hmm. to show. In other words, the failure to train, mm -hmm. the ratification, in other words, saying the city approved Mm. of the conduct either directly or by a course of approving of the conduct of people being shot when they shouldn't be. From your 20 years of experience looking at this case as you have, if you were to talk to the family, I mean, where would their hopes lie? What would you tell them? Do you think there is a possibility that they'll be able to win this lawsuit? Look, they've got great lawyers. Certainly, this is a case that everything I've heard is the city would like to settle. I suspect the parties are just a part as to numbers. Mm -hmm. So I think it's certainly a case that's winnable for the plaintiffs. I'm sure this is a case of the city for various reasons, but the question is whether that number is going to be a seven figure number or an eight number, eight digit number. I think that's that's what the question is gonna be. But you think it could be as high as a seven figure number? I would be shocked if it wasn't seven figures. Thank you so much for okay. joining us. Um, this is a story that we will obviously continue to follow, not just this, but at some point we're expecting that the DA will announce whether or not the officers will be charged.